Good morning. I thought this would be a good time to talk a little bit about what we're sending out to people. And I know I talk about law of attraction all of the time. Karma, law of attraction. Uh, karma is what's going to get us in the next life or what we're going to be working on in the next life. So it's not always bad. People think you always hear karma used in a derogatory sense. Um, karma is going to get you. Karma is this. Kar well, no. Um, karma is what you're creating in this life or what you're working through from past lives. So keep that in mind as well. Anyway, the bulk, the bulk, the bulk, the main reason that I wanted to do this video this morning is I had posted something on my personal page yesterday regarding, um, I had seen uh, quite a few posts. A friend of mine actually had shared something and then somebody else, um, I got, actually I think it was two friends of mine shared uh, a situation where a dog was hit on purpose. Um, and the things people were saying about the person who hit the dog were pretty mean. I mean, and rightly so. We we all want, you know, that eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. However, um, what I had posted was talking about what that does to, to the energy, um, to yourself and to others um, when you send that out negative out. Well, my daughter saw it, so she said I was attacking the friend who had shared it, which I didn't even see the friend's comments. It, it really doesn't matter. That wasn't the point of what I was trying to say. So when we rush to judgment and we all do it, then things get distorted, unfortunately. So I ended up deleting my post and contacting my friend right away because she knows I love her to pieces, and I absolutely do, and I, and I wasn't trying to call anybody out. It wasn't the point of it. Unfortunately, the freaking point got lost at that point. In my head, anyway. Um, when I post those things, do I think I'm perfect? No. I I have had horrendous experiences in this life. I have experienced a lot. And I know what it's like to be hated. And I know what it's like to hate. Um, however, I also want to note that I have learned a lot because of my experiences. And so when I post these things, it's just things that I understand to be true. You can take it for what it is. You don't have to follow me. You can leave. There's the door. It's that simple. Whenever somebody is doing something you don't like, you get that. You get to choose. You can walk away. So please know when I say things. If you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to. I don't. I'm not asking you to. But I'm sh again sharing what I know to be true. So when you send out negativity you get that back. That's called the law of attraction. All right. You get back what you get out. A lot of people go around saying, I don't know why this is happening to me. I don't know why bad things are always happening. Um, those are lower vibrational frequencies that you're vibrating in. And that's what's causing that. And when you send out negative to people, <clears throat> for instance, the young man who I don't know, he could have been an old man. I don't know. But the person who hit the dog, they were saying things like, they should run him down. They should hit him. I'd like to beat the shit out of him. I'd like to do... Well, so see what's happening is now you're lowering yourself to that level of anger. And you're bringing yourself down. And um, the person who's causing the harm doesn't need more anger. I can't, I can't say it any simpler than that. Logic. Think about that for just a second. Somebody is so damaged or hurt that they don't understand or the, or, and it could also be that they've just not reached that level of awareness in their life, that they don't understand that animals are sentient beings or they don't care that they've taken that life. That's not somebody who needs more pain. They got enough. That's why it's so important to realize what we're doing and also energy is everything everything we do creates energy our words create energy when there if you've have you ever gone into a home where there's a lot of uh, fighting violence anger and it just you just feel it the second you walk in the door and you know this is just not a place you want to be negative energy it sticks I have uh, cleared a home, I should say cleared, so um, gone into homes and saged and smudged to clear the negative energy from them. Um, I was asked to do a home 
that they thought was haunted and what had actually happened was there was a rape in one of the rooms in the basement prior to them owning it and it was just information that I was picking up on so that energy that was left behind from that um, left a negative impression so once we cleared that out they no longer had any feelings of being watched or anything down there so it was just simply saging and clearing that negative energy energy gets stuck in corners of your homes so you can go into the corners and and um I mean, everybody's going to be and you should actually go into the corners and clean that shit out so just um clap into the corners denise lynn is an amazing um i'm not even sure what all of her gifts are healer medium psychic um intuitive i mean the list goes on and on and on but again, Denise Lynn, she is the one who um, I learned that little trick from. She's amazing. So <sighs> sending out some negative energy isn't good for you or the person who's already in a bad place. And that's all that I was trying to say yesterday. And I just didn't do it very well. So that comes back to you. So just let this serve as a reminder to you that all of your thoughts create energy. All of your words all of your actions so um, especially for those of you who find yourself just really struggling in life um, pay attention to what you're sending out and and just replace every single thought with two or three good thoughts um, and I have had to do that again in my personal life I we just had a really horrific experience with a really awful contractor and basically there wasn't a whole lot we could do about it so did I have horrible things to I get yeah, yes yes I'm human however I know what that does and and that guy is broken as well so he just needs lots of love and I guess if you feel like you have to be vindictive or that you need to see things uh, turn out in favor of the underdog which we all do the best thing to do is realize that person is already creating enough hell for themselves. We don't have to send them any more and add to it. Um, do the opposite and add some balance because ultimately all we want is to be happy, correct? And um, when we're nice to each other, that makes us happy. So be nice to one another. Be kind because also you don't know what anybody else is dealing with on a daily basis. Um, remember walking into the grocery store after my son died it was like two days later we were getting supplies for a household of people um, and my husband and I were just zombies we just had a hard time just even functioning and we kind of looked at each other and we were just like wow you just don't know maybe that person is experiencing the same thing maybe that person has just had something horrific happen you just don't know so the person who might have been a jerk to you um, maybe they weren't really trying to be a jerk to you. Maybe you just happened to be there. Maybe you were supposed to be their angel and give them a message. Hi, somebody loves you. Because <sighs> when it comes down to it, that's basically what we all need is to know that we're loved and appreciated and accepted. Um, back to the fella with the dog. Did I hit the dog? I, I don't know the situation. I just don't. But I do know um, bashing and causing all that chaos. Um, it's not helping anybody uh, I say it over and over and over again and am I judging those who do that no it's not about judging them it is about wanting to lift them up and help them understand honey you're bringing that back to yourself and I don't want to see that for you because I love you um, even people I don't know don't do that to yourself ah. all right so uh, that's my soapbox for the day uh, I hope it made sense. I hope you get it. Love ya. Bye.